Good morning, World Wide Web. In my last video, I was talking about how I've been feeling really motivated and getting up and exercising every morning. So I'm keeping up with the pace. I'm proud to say I've been doing it every morning so far. As you can see, getting pretty big. I really wanted to take a prenatal yoga class, but they're like $20 a class. And if you're like me and you're on a budget, I just simply can't afford that right now. Got a little one upstairs, little one on the way. So, I looked up um, some free prenatal apps on the App Store. But the one I use is called Prenatal Workout. It's the Power 20. Um, there's a five minute stretch that you can do. And then there's three different exercises and they're based on each trimester that you're in. So I started doing it when I was in my first trimester and then I got lazy and then I didn't do any at all during my second. And now that I'm in my third, I'm like, I better get on that. Just did it this morning, so I'm just gonna do my post stretches now. I do the five minute stretch before that the app gives me, and then I do the workout, and then I do my own stretches at the end. I find um, my sciatic nerve, which if you don't know what that is, ugh, it's back here, like almost just at the base of your back, and there's one on either side. Okay, so this one especially acts up and it feels like just a bar of pain entering here and sometimes shooting right through to the front and it, the pain can go up and down your leg and up your back and it's really, really painful. And I haven't found a whole lot of stretches or exercises um, that help that besides the ones I personally know. So I thought I want to share with you guys. First of all, I want to let you know I am not a instructor, licensed instructor whatsoever. I've been to classes and I do my own workouts, but um, of course, need to say, and the app says this too, consult with your doctor first, and uh, we're not liable for any injuries you may occur while doing these stretches. A few great things to work from home. For one, it's free. Two, you can do it on your own time. Oh, there's my cat. And uh, secondly, I usually exercise in my pajamas. It actually took, I had to try on three or four different shirts that like covered me properly so I could do this video. Um, but yeah, I usually just do it in my pajamas. All you need at home is a sports bra if you need one, pony or elastic if you need one, and drink lots of water. You don't even need a bottle, you just use a cup because you're at home. So drink lots of water, staying hydrated is important. And of course, when you're doing your exercises, make sure you're doing using the proper form because that's something that could really injure you. Get an app that has the visuals there for you so you can visually see how they're uh, doing it. You may want to do it in front of a mirror a few times until you know that you do have the right form and have the right feel. Um, a lot of them I find is 90 degree angle. So if you're doing some exercises on your back, make sure you want straight back, arms are 90 degrees. You know, you're not, you don't want to be slanting either way. And, um, find that even little things like that can help out a lot. And of course, if you're finding any sort of discomfort, take a rest, you may want to alter your positioning may be the issue. Um, and if it's, if it's painful, then yes, definitely stop and even talk to your doc doctor about that afterwards as well. I think that's all the major points I had. I got a little list here. Yes, I'm reading. <laughs> Baby brain, I can't remember a whole lot at once, okay? Give me, give me a break there. These are a few exercises I like to do that help with my sciatic nerve. And this, these are my post-exercising stretches. First one I do is I lay on my back. <sighs> okay, it's a journey just to get down. We're gonna do this with each leg. I'll show you with, uh, I guess this one first since you can see it better. So straight up, I'm keeping my, my toe pointed this way, not pointed up, pointed this way, because I want it to feel all of this stretching all the way down. When it comes to stretching, Yes, you want to know your limitations, but you always want to try to push it a little bit. Not painful, but just a little bit where it feels like a good, warm stretch. So I'm going to uh, count to 10. I'm feeling it all the way down my leg here. Cracking my toes just feels so good. If you're not one that can't stand cracking, sorry, but I love it. <laughs> and uh, then you want to rotate your ankle as well. And I find when I do this, I find him some pressure along here that I find if, if I apply pressure to that tendon that's right here, then it actually feels a bit better. 
So again, that's getting to know your own body, what you're comfortable with, and um, making those adjustments for when you are in some sort of discomfort. I personally don't enjoy this, but you want to try to go the opposite way so that you can work all those tendons around. And now you want to bring your foot down close to you, lift up your other knee so that kind of turn so I can show you, so that my knee is supporting my foot. And then wrap my arms around my back, let the knee here, and then just rest it. And oh, that's such a good stretch because it doesn't, uh, the last stretch we were doing got the back of my leg, this one's getting more of the side. Okay, so we're working our way up to the side of your hip and your sciatic nerve. And I like to just kind of pump it a bit. And this is even a good time too, if you want, you can kind of rotate a bit and you can feel where it's like a massage on your back. So I pump as I roll. <laughs> I probably look ridiculous, but I don't care. It feels good. Ah, so like right there, I'm able to kind of balance on my sciatic nerve, my back. And uh, that pressure, my own body weight pressure feels actually really good on it. I like to uh, take this time to crack my toes and it just helps to uh, alleviate the stress from my legs and my body. Ah, there. And then very slowly what I do is I bring my leg down. Oh, my hip always seems to crack. And then stretch. Okay, now I'm going to do that to the other side. helping. I can feel that in my sciatic nerve right now. It's my right side that's been hurting me a lot, so I could just stay here all day. <laughs> so those are pretty basic ones. One that I learned from a friend back in Fort McMurray. This one was a bodybuilder and she did yoga all the time and, um, and she was older too, so it that all the more I find is very inspirational when you see someone who's older than you just kicking ass and it's like there's no excuse for me if she can do it I can do it too anyway I asked her like, do you have any stretches that you know of for sciatic nerve and for those of you who do yoga you probably know this but there's a pose called the penguin pose um, and again I'm not an instructor so I may not be teaching you hundred percent correct but but this is how I do it, and uh, um, and this is what feels good to me. So I'm going to do both sides, but the side that's bugging me is my right side, so I'm going to do my right side first. So I'm going to bring my leg up a bit, get my foot in front of my knee, and I'm going to try, as you can see, I'm at a 90 degree angle. You can just go down on your elbows and stretch out that back leg as far as you can reach. And the couch is in my way. I need to shift up a bit. Okay. And stretch out. And now just lay, you can just lay down on your foot and enjoy that stretch. So I feel it here, all down my butt, my leg. Oh, that's exactly what I need. No other stretch or exercise I've ever done has uh, felt as good as this. <laughs> Of course, you can hold it as long as you want, whatever um, that you're comfortable doing. Oh, here comes my little monkey. It's because of him I have sciatic pain. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Bob, what are you doing? I'm making a stretching video and showing people how I stretch out my sciatic nerve. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to do the other side, um, just to show you again from this angle. So I'm feeling it here, all through my leg and my butt, oh, which sounds funny, but um, that's where the pain is. And walking can be so painful sometimes. So of course, uh, what they call the child's pose, um, which actually is in that uh, app workout that I was talking about, the Power 50. Are you going to be a doctor? Um, which 
again, I've altered it to accommodate for my big belly and uh, for my own comfort. I have to open my legs so my belly has a place to rest. And then just extend your arms as far as you can. I like to put my forehead down because then I feel like it stays even on both sides of my neck. Um, or alternately, you could switch sides and try to spend an equal amount of time on each side. Um, just because every time, every direction that you're moving in, um, your muscles are going to be stretching. So you want to make that equal across the board as much as you can. There. So that's it. And of course, you can add in the st extra stretches and exercises that you want to do based on your own comfort and your own needs. <sighs> what do you think, Logan? Bye. <laughs> Bye. I love you. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have everybody have a great day. Love and light. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>